There was a really interesting interview on CNN with a Hamas spokesman, uh, Osama Hamdan. This is the same guy who I told you last week when he was asked, did you know that the ceasefire that was agreed upon by both Hamas and Israel and uh, uh, with with the the arbiter of the United Nations in between allowed for Israel to keep destroying these illegal tunnels that Hamas has built into Israel? And Osama Hamdan said, no, no one ever told us about that. Right. The, the laughable lie that no one on CNN called him on. He was back on CNN, uh, of course, from the safety of Qatar. And Wolf Blitzer asked him to comment on something he said uh, where he he said that Jews would use the blood of Christians to bake matzah, which is, of course, the unleavened bread that uh, 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 you may have heard about at some point in your life. And Wolf Blitzer just wanted to ask Osama Hamdan, do you stand by that or do you deny that? So I'm going to play this for you in parts. This is really, really good. Here's Wolf Blitzer's first attempt at getting Osama Hamdan to either say, yes, I stand behind my claim that Jews cook matzah with Christian blood that they have drained from the bodies of Christians that they've killed or no, I don't believe that. Here is attempt number one. It's all over the Internet. Uh, remarks that you made uh, recently uh, to El Quds TV, and I'm going to read it to you in the English translation. We had translators make sure the translation was accurate. I want you to explain what you said because it's very disturbing. Uh, you said, we all remember how the Jews used to slaughter Christians in order to mix their blood with their holy matzahs. This is not a figment of the imagination or something taken from a film. It is a fact acknowledged by their own books and historical evidence. You believe that Jews would kill Christians to mix their blood to bake the holy matzahs on Passover? Is that, is that your belief, Mr. Hamdan? Well, Wolf, let me answer that freely. Don't cut me, because it's very, very, very important to be clarified. First, I was asked about a statement published by the deputy speaker of the Knesset, the Israeli parliament. Mush OK, so Lewis, that didn't really go too well, too well. No direct answer uh, to going on all sorts of sidebar rants. Wolf Blitzer says and, and by the way, Wolf Blitzer being way more uh, forgiving when it comes to the amount of time that he's allowing for obvious non answers to continue way more than I would have allowed. Wolf Blitzer says, let's try this again. What is the, what is your your explanation? Did you say that? Did you not? Do you stand by that? Do you do you uh, uh, deplore that attempt number two? But I understand that. But I just want to be uh, specific and just answer the question. And, and, and maybe I'll remind you what you said. I'm going to play it in Arabic. Here's what you said on El Quds TV. Uh, I, uh, Wolf, I, Wolf, want, I know uh, what I've said. I, I Wolf, want to play this for I know, you. Just Wolf, listen to this Wolf, and then you'll I explain know, what you I mean. Know, Let's play no, no, the no. tape. Let's you play the tape. You don't know. You وكلنا يتذكر كيف كان اليهود يذبحون المسيحيين ليخلطوا دماءهم بفطيرهم المقدس هذه ليست بدعة وهمية أو فيلم سينمائي هذه حقيقة So do you believe that Jews used to slaughter okay. Christians so to you, mix their you, blood you, to bake matzahs? Me. You, have, you have to ask that for the church which, which claims that you know this is the fact. You cut the words, not you, the Israelis in memory. They cut the facts and they start this propaganda to say again, no answer. What about the blood in the matzah? He doesn't deny saying it. He doesn't allege that the translation isn't accurate. He just doesn't address it at all. And then lastly, Wolf Blitzer again asking what about the blood in the matzah? I was just hoping to get some kind of yes or no from you and I'm not getting it. But you, uh, Thank uh, you right, we're going to leave it there, Mr. Hamdan. But I, I was hoping to get a flat denial from you that you would utter such uh, such you know, ridiculous words that Jews would kill Christians in order to use their but, blood. But someone to bake said that. Matzah. OK, uh, okay. Th that, that okay. sounds as you know, Wolf, that, that is an awful, Wolf, awful Wolf, smear. Wolf, Wolf, you have Wolf, you have to be fair. You can't end that. I must end that because you asked me and I want to answer. This was said by everyone. I was saying they, they are part of what was being said. He has to deny what he write about the Palestinians. Six and a half minutes, Lewis, six and a half minutes, a simple question 
did Jews slaughter Christians to then use their drained blood to cook unleavened bread? Yes or no? No answer at all. My biggest disagreement is actually with Wolf Blitzer in allowing this nonsense to go on for six and a half minutes. I guess if I think of what was Wolf Blitzer trying to do, I guess he was trying to avoid a situation where he could be accused of cutting Osama Hamdan off before he gave an answer. Of course, ultimately, we didn't get one. But Wolf did press him a bit more than he presses his normal guests when trying to uh, get something out of them. So it still makes for some compelling television. And I, I guess at least he pressed it a little bit. Also, it's funny the the serious expression on Wolf Blitzer's face as he asks for a commentary on such an insane, absurd comment. Do you think Jews cook matzah with Christian blood? Right. I mean, let's step back for a second and think of the absurdity of this and Wolf Blitzer pulling it off completely straight faced. He is very good at keeping a straight face, even when he's asking uh, uh, ridiculous questions. He, he always has that great poker face.